All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Rare Oakleys. Today, we're going to be looking at some OCP. Most of you know what that is. That's Oakley Custom Program. I ordered a couple of pairs recently. They just arrived in the mail maybe a couple of days ago. And the reason why I ordered them, there was two reasons. It was on OakleySI.com, which is uh, the military website. Some of you are going to be familiar with that. They had 35% off on Oakley Custom, but they actually had a special for a few days. It was an additional 10% off, 45% off. So it was almost half price. And then I had a ton of residual credits on my Discover card. So these two pairs actually ended up costing me just over $29 for both. So I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on these. But I'm going to share these with you guys. This is the box that came in. And one of the reasons I wanted to share this with you is because I've ordered OCP in the past, years ago, not recently, but when I did, they were a little bit different. And I'll go through the reasons why. But here, of course, they got the, the packing list here. Packing list from, from Oakley. It just describes what's in here. And they got two, two pairs. Two pairs in this order. Now, this is a, a nice touch. They actually come with presentation boxes. They didn't have this before. But it's been years since I've ordered any OCP. But the really cool thing about these presentation boxes is, and I'll show you here in a second. Well, if you open them up, you got the Oakley Custom Box. This is what they typically come in. And then they come with a card. I'm not sure what to think about this. I guess it's okay, I suppose. It comes with an O Custom card and it says, You've taken Unique to the next level. Thank you for designing your custom Oakley. We're sure that it is one of a kind, just like you. See you soon at Oakley.com. So I guess that's fine. Part of their marketing which is okay, I guess. I really don't care much about this, but that's fine. This box I do kind of like. The reason why I like this box is because, if you kind of notice here, it is magnetic. It's magnetically sealed. So it actually seals shut. And if you look closely, there's little magnets here, little circles here, and of course the corresponding magnets on the bottom part of the box. It's kind of nice. I like this box. But this is the box that the Oakleys came in. And we're going to see what I ordered here. This is kind of a cool surprise. So I'm a, I'm a big sports Oakley guy. And I do like the Radar EVs. They came with the ballistic nylon case. It's still got the plastic covering the Oakley Ellipse. Now they, they gave me the wrong bag. I don't know what happened with this bag. This is the bag for the split jackets. It has the little pouches inside for the replacement lenses. I just ordered the standard Oakley custom bag, but they didn't include that. I don't know why. I guess this is okay, it's not a big deal, but it's not what I ordered actually. But here are the glasses that I did order, and these are very cool. These are, uh, what was this, what kind of orange was that? That was the neon orange, neon orange, because I wanted something different for the collection. And then of course just uh, black iridium lenses, matte black icons, and black ear socks. So it's kind of a nice color. You gotta have the right, uh, the right stuff to wear with it, but that's the one pair. And then the second pair, this pair I actually like a little bit better because, because of the color combo, mostly. So again, they come in a custom box, but you can see the size of the box is different because this is a different pair of glasses. This is not a pair of radar EVs, obviously, much smaller. But again, it does have the, the magnetic strip on the bottom or the magnetic tabs to seal it. And it's got a smaller box. It has the same Oakley custom card in there. But this pair... I've always been a big fan of M-Frames, and these are the M2s. <clears throat> so specifically, I did order this bag. I wanted something different for the micro microfiber bag. And again, this was on OakleySI.com, which again is for the military, so I ordered an airborne bag. But this pair here, I customized these. You can come in and show them the bag here. Show them the bag. The bag looks cool. It's got the airborne logo on it. And this pair, this is a cool pair. This is a custom color combination here that I kind of kind of imagined up. It's going to be the navy blue. I've got what they call the wings here. These are matte black. I wanted a little bit of contrast from the navy blue. Polished gold icons. There's two, two kinds. There's satin gold and there's polished gold. I chose the polished gold because I thought it would look better with the 24K lenses. And then the... Slate, which are gray, ear socks. So I thought this was a really cool color combo. I really like this color combo. You guys, uh, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like the uh, 
the M2 is better or the Radar EV is better. Now, one thing I do want to say, here's what, here's what was disappointing about this order. Yes, they were 45% off. Yes, they are custom customized to you know what I wanted here for the color combos. Yes, they had the nice boxes. Yes, they had the greeting cards, which was okay, I guess. Here's the problem. These are actually black prism polarized. But if you notice on the lens, there's no etching. There's no etching. These are 24K polarized. And again, there's no etching on the bottom left of the lens. So for me, this is a, a major disappointment. I know that Oakley allows you to do customizations for the lenses with the scripting, but that's not the point. The point is, if they're standard lenses and I don't opt for any special customization with the scripting, it should say polarized or prism or prism polarized. It didn't. So for me, this is disappointing, especially if you own a large number of Oakleys. These may be sitting around for a few years and you might forget whether or not they're polarized, which I guess is easy enough to test, but it's gonna be a lot harder to tell if they're prism or prism polarized. You're gonna to have to memorize that. So that's something that Oakley really needs to work on. I think they should bring that back. The etching in the lenses should be standard. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below which one of these two pairs you like the most. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Rare Oakleys.